Hello everyone, welcome back to The Silent Age. We will continue in Chapter 2, The Future. Yeah, we're at the police station. I don't know for sure, but I have a hunch that the door is locked. I'm not about to try it. Intense police officer. The cop didn't introduce himself, but I can just barely make out the name on his badge. It says F. Burkowski. I better not if I want to keep that arm. He seems very agitated. I should think carefully about the next words I say to him. I already told him the truth twice and he just stared at me, then asked again. Not sure I want to provoke him. Security camera. I hope the 10 pounds you gain on TV stays permanent. Scrawny guys like me don't last long in prison. I'm sure this isn't here for my protection. Hope someone is behind there watching. At least I'll have witnesses when they start beating the crap out of me. Then again, probably won't make a difference. I see a pale, scared guy in here. It's me. Well, I guess we'll... The device is pulsating with green lights. I think the only thing we have to do is, like, see what happens if we use it. Whoa. Whoa. Where did the lights go? <laughs> Hello? Was... Was I just knocked out? I feel weird. Like I was folded flat and inflated again. Hello? Guess we can try to go to the door. Oh man, that's bright. Oh, hello. There's nothing here. This is probably the future. And the time travel device is not shining anymore, so I guess it doesn't work anymore. Because it needs sun. Solar powered. Man. Ugh. I'm dizzy. What? What is this? What happened here? How long was I out? Oh, apparently this is not enough sunlight for it to charge it. Alright. Sign the door says evidence room. It's locked. <clears throat> J. Edgar Hoover. It's Mr. Hoover. I've seen his picture on the news a lot recently. Was he ever a president? I only count three steps. First two are fine. The third seems to be somewhere in the basement. Even if I get down there without breaking my legs, I won't be able to get back up. Alright, let's go to the first floor instead. Oh, dear me. Office door. It's locked. Hello! <gasps> oh god, what is this? I, I feel nauseous. I still don't have a clue what just happened. Now there's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. This is a nightmare. It's gotta be. There's a key attached to his belt. I should just grab it and hope it gets me out of here somehow. <laughs> Whatever this key is, I hope it takes me far away from here. Or wakes me up. This guy must have known what was coming. Either that or he was pushed. I can't tell which thought makes me feel worse. A hammer. They must have nailed that door up in a hurry. It's been boarded up. The hammer doesn't have a claw to remove the nails, and the planks are t too thick to break. There must be a better way out. Alright, well... I don't know if this key goes through the office door. I don't remember. Okay, no. Okay, in that case it goes to the, um, goes to the evidence room. True. Okay, here we go. It fits. I unlocked it. Evidence locker. The great door is locked with a rusty old padlock. It may be rusty, but it's still sturdy. Hammer? <coughs> Ugh, oh come on, I can't even break a rusty old padlock with a hammer. I may be out of shape, but this is stupid. Barbed wire and stuff. Boxed evidence. 
unlicensed small arms, anti-war propaganda, unregistered sexual aids, dentals. The rest of the boxes have case numbers. Oh god, I must be losing it. This police ID? It's that officer from the interrogation. Burkowski. This is seriously creeping me out, man. Officer Francis Bur it's Officer Francis Burkowski. Every fiber of my being is telling me not to touch it. Even from the skeleton, you can tell he was probably able to snap you like a twig. You'd think skeletons were scary enough, but the huge jaw just takes it up a notch. Okay, so definitely getting the sense that the future he's in either isn't that far in the future, or the world sort of broke not very long after he, um, after, well, where we started from. <laughs> Crap, it broke. Oh, hang on, it clicked. The door's open. This is just like on Dragnet. Whatever Dragnet is. Lockers. They're either rusted or locked. They're a bit smelly for some reason. I don't think these lockers can be opened with brute force. Oh, look, it's a picture. It's like Nemo or something. It's like a clownfish. Some kind of fish. Carp, I think. I don't know. A uh, note. Hmm. There are some numbers scribbled on this. It's too short to be a phone number or license plate. Maybe a door code or something? Well, good thing to have it. Herman Bell. Wondered for murder. Possible connection to San Francisco 8. Anthony Bottom, wanted for two counts of murder, possible connection to Black Liberation Army and San Francisco 8. Freddie Hilton, wanted for one count of murder on SF police officer, possible connection to Marxist revolutionary group. Russell Schultz, wanted for questioning by the CIA rec record classified. Er Erno Soto, suspect in five counts of murder. Suspect Zero. Hey, this is my picture. Looks like it was taken by the camera when I was talking to the officer just now. What's going on here? Suspect Zero. Suspect possession of experimental military grade weaponry. Case evidence seized by Homeland Security Task Force. I don't understand. I didn't do anything. Barely know what just happened. Uh, if you look through all these photos and get to Suspect Zero, you also get a steam achievement. I've already gotten all of them, but yeah. I need to find out what's going on, but you get a steam achievement for that, though, so. It's a map of the country. It's riddled with pins, circles, and notes that look like they were written in a hurry. Oh, and here's where I live. Right under the A in the word quarantine. It's a map of the country. Oh, yeah, okay. Desk. One of the drawers is unlocked. There's a bottle of gun, gun oil in there. Whoops, almost dropped it. The bottle's really greasy. This desk has seen better days. Alright, well, the padlock was rusted. So... We could go down and maybe do that. Well, we should check what's upstairs first, but yeah. Though... Here's a hole. Okay, okay, I just... This might be totally far out, but what if that time travel guy was right? What if this weird box in my pocket actually took me out there? The future. I mean, think about it, Joe. What other possible explanations could there be? You're not dreaming. Uh, that's for damn sure. Head hurts too much. Who's this picture? It's Wyatt Earp. Good thing these pictures have labels, or I would never have guessed. It's that sheriff that shot Paul Newman and Yule Brynner in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. What a bummer. They should have Brynner up here, there, not him. Ah, uh, white herb. Okay. Rope. It's a rope of the guy downstairs is hanging from. It's tying the door in place. It's too tight to untie. Maybe if I could find something sharp. Like the katana in the evidence room. Okay, what's over here? Oh, it's a picture of Mr. Lincoln, I think. Far out. So safe by hidden behind this. Far out, man. 
It's locked, what a drag. Maybe you need a code. Oh yeah, it worked. Aw, there's nothing in there. In here, nothing but this dumb paper clip. What a bummer, man. Handle's broken off. I'll never get through the door with this puny thing. Well, let's go to the evidence room and try to get ourselves a katana. Could help. Alright, let's reset first because it's rusty. The lock tumbler seems a little less stiff now. I should be able to turn the tumbler into lock now. Oh, maybe paper cut though. Wow. It opened. Wow. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Katana. It's a katana. I've always wanted one of these, but somehow I don't feel as excited about it now. Bye, Brokovsky. No offense, but I don't feel like hanging out here. Uh, okay, let's uh, cut the rope here. Yeah. Oh yeah, rope's been cut now. Office. Lots of dusty files and reports. Well, dusty files and reports. Desk. There's a duty rooster on the desk. Seems a lot of officers were homesick that day. Didn't do them much good though. It's just a regular desk. Dead police officer. I'm not sure I'll get used to this. Uh, there's a big tree growing outside. I might be able to get out that way. Alright, smash it. Whoa, I should be a little more careful. I almost cut myself there. Tree branch. <laughs> Whoa, uh. that's... Uh, that's really far down. Whenever the guy was feeling in that movie Vertigo, that's what I'm feeling right now. This branch looks sturdy enough. In theory? I'm just not sure I'll be able to make it. I need something to hold on to. Uh, besides prayer, I mean. I think this should be able to hold my weight, but it's three stories down. If I try to climb down, I'll break my neck. I need some rope or wire to hold me. Well, we did just, you know... Haya, or whatever. A rope, so we might be able to go get that. From the dead guy. Oh no, okay, no, yeah, he's. It's a. Yeah, it's a hole in the floor. He's uh, fallen one more uh, floor. Here we go. Hey, I'm just gonna borrow the rope. Sorry. Should come in handy. Uh. It should. It very much should. should. Get out of this police house. Here we go. Rope with tree branch. The most important knot I've tied in my life. Alright, we're at chapter three. Okay, now I know this isn't just a horrible dream. That climb was all too real to me. I need to breathe and get a grip. If this is really ha all really happening, someone must have taken the time travel guide to the hospital or something. I need to get over there. I'm not sure what I'll get out of it, but I have nothing else to go on. Alright. Well, you know what? I think breaking at chapters seems like a good idea. Perhaps if I do this. Aha! We're on chapter 3, the machine. Having escaped police custody using the time machine, Joe is now on the run and in search of the time traveler. Convinced he has been taken to the local hospital, actually getting there is proving difficult. Alright, we'll see if we can get to the hospital in the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see ya.